Hello, it's Nyashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today guys, I've got for you a Boohoo haul. I have got two big bags for us to go through. I just thought, I'm going back to work. I might need a couple of new bits and bobs for um, the weather starting to change and things. I'll be honest, all throughout lockdown, I've been ordering odd bits and bobs off Boohoo because I have the Premier next day delivery service, which makes it super easy. In fact, these e-rings were actually from Boohoo. I got them on sale for two pounds. They're so pretty. T-shirts from Nasty Gal. Um, anyway, yeah, I've been ordering the odd bits and bobs. A lot of just very small hauls, but I thought, you know what? Kind of new season, Boohoo had a big sale on. I'm gonna do a haul with you guys. You enjoyed my last one, which was way back in like, I was gonna say March, but I think I used my birthday money, so it would have been April. Um, yeah, so anyway, I am blabbing on. What I'm gonna do is, I haven't actually opened the bags yet. I'm gonna open them with you guys, and I'll show you what I got and how much they were and things, and then I'm gonna go and try them on and I'll show you those bits. So you get to see the clothes when they're on. I think I ordered a couple of bikinis. I'm not sure if I'm feeling bikini ready, to be honest, to show you, but I'll show you them anyway. <laughs> Okay, so two big bags. Um, I've got my tablet to go through so I know what the prices were on everything. So let's just crack in. Let's start with this very first bag then. It's going to be interesting to see if I can remember what I ordered. It was a couple of days ago, but still. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, yeah, I'll pull them out of the bag. I don't think we don't, we don't need a necessary in order. I didn't really get much in the way of like just accessories. I think it was all very clothes heavy. Uh, no shoes. But like I said, I did get a couple of bikinis, which I think is actually what the very first one I'm putting my hand on to is. <laughs> it's a bikini. Um, I threw out a lot of my bikinis at the beginning of the year thinking that this year, for holidays and things, I would buy new. I did get a couple of new ones at the beginning of the year. When I went on holiday in February, Two of those broke. So yeah, I chucked out a lot and then I broke one of the new ones. Well, two of the new ones. The back just snapped. They were both the same design, so I don't know if it was just an issue with the clasps. Um, but anyway, let's see if I can find this one. So this one was five pounds. I mean I'm not I don't think I'll be yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be trying them on for you. But this one I thought would be a great one for um Okay, I don't know if I even realised it was so metally there. <laughs> I thought it would be a good one for like sun bathing kind of thing. If you can just fling the straps off and then that's that nice little pointy bit. So that was the top. And then the bottoms are high leg. Like so. This bit comes off. <laughs> so these were £5 and I got them in a size 10. Um, last time I ordered bikinis from Boohoo, size 10 was pretty much right. Um, for the bottoms, but then it's the top that I'd be unsure of, but that looks like it'd be all right. <laughs> I wish they did mons more that were by cup size type of thing so they would fit better, but I think that looks like it'll be okay. It's a five pound bargain. The only thing is, because that's wired, that's not going to fold up as easily in a suitcase. It will have to go in like that. Okay, big and deep. The next thing then is a cardigan, and I believe I actually got this cardigan in two different colours. Just like the look of it. Okay, so it's this oversized rib knit cardigan. I'm showing you the wrong way around. And this one's in the colour toffee. Um, I can't remember what size I got them in. Small to medium, which I think looks like it's going to be perfect. In the size toffee, and it was seven pounds. Like I said, I did get this in another colour as well, so hopefully it looks nice when it's on. Okay, and then next then I think is the other colour. Okay, so this one I thought looked a bit more red on the picture, but it is called maroon or something, I think. Oh, it's called wine, but it is a nice winey colour. I just thought the deeper colours for like the autumn and wintry months would be really nice. And again, this was £7 and I got it in a size small to medium. Next thing, and I did say I didn't think I picked up any accessories, but I did get a headband. I can take it out of the pack again. It's like one of the twisty knot, top knot headbands. Tag's just fallen off. Um, it's just a very standard black one. I do like these and I don't actually have a plain black one. So it just pops on really easily, fits nicely. How does it look? Uh, this was two pounds. 
have just seen it on the thing and I forget because I'm hopeless. Yes, two pounds. That's kind of like Primark pricing, so I'm happy to pay that. And like I said, seems decent. Okay, so this next one's kind of a dress, but I thought it would probably be more of a kind of dress with leggings. Um, it's a shift dress. Looking at it now, it is very thin. <laughs> can you see me through it? I mean, I can see the lights and everything through it. Um, so yeah, very thin material. I don't know if you can tell, but um, okay. I'm sure it'll look okay when it's on. It's not like I'm gonna have any bright lights shining kind of too much on it. Um, this was seven pounds. I thought it was kind of a nice, one of those things, you know where you can like dress up, dress down kind of thing, pair of leggings, pair of boots. Ooh, with that whiny cardigan on the top actually, it might look really nice. Oh, I wondered what that was then. The boohoo, please do not remove this until you are satisfied with the product. Fair enough. Okay, so I only got that in a size 10. I tend to be a pretty much a size 10 or like a small or medium in Boohoo. So that looks like it'll fit okay. Seven pounds, what about it? Actually looking at it now where I've thrown it on the floor <laughs> in a pile next to the cardigans. It would go very nicely with either of them. Okay, our next one is a summery item, which I didn't necessarily need, but while it was on the sale, <laughs> I thought it would be nice for next summer. Oh, you know, should holidays ever resume? Um, oh, I know they have for some people, but it's a black strappy sundress and it's got some ruffly details. So it's got like a ruffle down the front and then along the bottom edge. Um, this was down to six pounds. It's just a very standard easy wear sundress, I thought. Um, I didn't have an awful lot of strappy sundresses this year. So I got this in a size 10. It's very little sundressy. It's probably coming up to the time of year that we can't really wear this, but I just thought of putting away for next summer. And again, in my collection of holiday clothes, I don't get much use these days. <laughs> okay, next, and it is the last item in the very first bag. And it's another bikini. This time it's a bright pink bikini. <laughs> right, this was, um, this was very much the kind of bikinis I bought earlier in the year that ended up snapping with this uh, type of clasp. So I decided to get this in a size 12. I just wondered if it was more to do with my bra size um, being more of a 12 than a 10, even though the bottoms fit. So I'm kind of risking it with this one because the, bo the bottoms have a tie detailing at the side so I thought I could maybe even tighten them up possibly. And these are in the big high leg ones. I got a few of these, like I said, at the beginning of the year and I really liked the high kind of waistedness of them. So I thought that one was really, really pretty. It was bright pink, so size 12. I really like the kind of colors, very bright. It's brighter than I actually was expecting, which is perfect. I like bright colors. This one was 10 pounds, down to 10 pounds and for a bikini, I think that's fine. Obviously the other one was five pounds, peckish bargain. But yeah, that's really nice. I'm happy with that, hopefully it fits. Okay, so we're into bag number two. And then gonna, the first thing I'm pulling out is another bikini item. <laughs> when I went away in February, one of the bikinis that I bought was um, the black and white version of this, whereas this is the white and black. And I've actually since bought the top. Now, I'm quite dubious about how high waisted they look. They look a lot more high waisted than they perhaps did on the model. But for some bathing, hey, maybe why not? I got them in a size 10. Like I say, I have the white top already. I thought I was gonna mix and match it with the black bottoms. The black bottoms are actually more that high waisted kind of full brief. Um, but we'll see what this looks like. So this, yes, yeah, this was four pounds, four pounds. Okay, next item I think is a dress. Ooh, got a bit of fluff on that. And it's just a very simple black smock style dress. I just thought that this might be actually quite perfect. Again, to team with boots and tights, um, leggings even. Something that's easy to wear, a good transitional piece because you could wear that with like one of those chunky cardigans or you could like just wear it on its own type of a thing. I just thought it would be nice. And it was a bargain. It is actually one of the tall uh, range, but you know, I'm like five foot seven and a half, five foot eight, so I can get away with that, I think. And I got it in a size 10. And this was down to nine pounds. 
I've got nine pounds for a black dress. I'm thinking now, looking at it, it'll look good with the headband, one of those chunky cardigans, and some tights and some nice boots. Really quite looking forward to wearing that, actually. Okay, moving on. I got a pair of jeans. I'm always quite dubious about ordering jeans online. <sighs> jeans shopping is one of my least favourite things in the world. <laughs> It, it varies so much depending on which shop you're in and what fits on what doesn't. I've had a few pairs of jeans from Boohoo throughout the year. I have got, I think I've had three pairs from them this year. Um, one's a size 10, fits perfectly. I've got a skinny pair of size 10. I might even have two pairs of skinny jeans that are size 10 and they fit really nice. And then I got a pair of boyfriend jeans, which are a size 10. And they're a little bit tight. I've kept them. I kept them for one of the days where I don't feel as fat. But I would have thought that the boyfriend, the slouchier looking kind of jeans, would have fitted, would have been less fitted than the um, skinny jeans. However, I decided to order another pair and see because these were an absolute bargain, I believe. Let me just double check the price because in my head I remember. But yeah, these were six pounds. Um, I don't really have any light, light jeans. So I just thought the colour was really nice. So they are, let's see what they're officially called. They're high waist distressed skinny jeans in light blue. And again, I got a size 10. So they have rips on the knees. Not crazy ones actually, I quite like those. Um, I liked the colour and I liked the style. I'm hoping they're gonna fit. Cause like I say, I've had a few from Boohoo and they've mostly been pretty good as a size 10. I think the very first pair of jeans I actually bought from Boohoo, I ordered in a 10 and a 12, because I know sometimes jeans can be iffy, but the 10s fit really well. So I'm hoping it's slightly different style. I think the ones that fit me perfectly are mom jeans. Um, but these, um, they look like they should be okay, I think. I did have a lot of pizza last night, so I don't know whether trying them on today is the best idea, but hey, I'm gonna give it a go for you guys. Okay, moving on, I have got a t-shirt dress. Again, it's one of those things I thought would be a good transitional thing because you can wear it with like leggings or tights and then boots and things, or you can, you know, just jack it on off, whatever type of thing. So this one, it is a leopard print t-shirt style. It's a little bit more shiny, shiny material than I was expecting, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So t-shirt dress brown. I got this in a size 12, apparently. Probably because I like the oversizedness. Oh, they might not have had a 10 <laughs> uh, but that looks like it's a big chunky dress that should fit fine so it, it's going to be one of those where I might want to belt around it possibly hmm did I say how much that was I don't know if I did so the leopard print ringer tee was seven pounds I got another bikini I think I got carried away I, th I think I'm thinking I'm going on my holiday soon or something oh, this time last year I was we went mid-September to Cape Verde. It was absolutely amazing. Maybe that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of like reliving last year. <laughs> um, right, this one was one I actually almost got before because it was a bargain, but then it sold out quite quickly. And then I was a bit like, mm, it might not be the type I just thought it. It's a strapless one. I'm slightly dubious about whether my boobs are gonna go in there or not. Um, again, I got this in a size 10, I think. And again, it's one of that style kind of pants. Yeah, this one's this one's called a cheeky bum. I think it was called <laughs> cheeky bum bikini. So the fact that this one is very much the same as them white ones, I don't know if they sent me the wrong white ones, but anyway, I'm sure it'll be okay. So we'll see what this looks like. I, again, I don't think I'm gonna show you this on because I'm pretty sure, right, that's the back. I don't know if my boobs are gonna get in there. Seems quite small. This one might go back. Um, it was six pounds. It didn't break the bank, but yeah, I. It was a kind of, like I say, I almost ordered it before because I think it was five pounds before, and it's actually six pounds now. But yeah, I don't. I don't feel like that's going to fit me, and I don't feel like it's going to be flattering. Hmm. Yeah, it might go back. Okay, next, and apparently I'm still shopping for summer. <laughs> So this one's a summer dress. I saw it and I just thought it was really cute and it was again a bargain price. And again, I bought it thinking of next year and holidays and things which, I know, planning too far ahead. It's actually 
a lot prettier than I was even expecting. The material's really nice on this one. It's got like ruffly, frilly um, straps. It's got a stretchy back. Oh, that's really pretty. I mean, it's quite, it's quite short perhaps, but hey ho. So this one I got in a size 10 and it was six pounds. And I just thought six pounds for a cute little dress. I'm just slightly concerned now that it's probably gonna to be too short, but hey, summer gonna be uh, next year before I'm gonna get anywhere out of this so <laughs> it might not matter might have like shedded a lot of weight by then and feeling like very less chunky thighed than I do right now after a night of eating pizza okay so oh we're down to two things left so I got another cardigan oh this one I was oh, I, if I like it I might actually order it they had it in three colors and I was tempted between this one, which is apricot, and they had like a baby pink that was really nice. You know I like my pinks, but I thought, I'll go for an apricot -y one for a change. It just looked pretty. So it's another knitted cardigan. I think this one was more expensive than the other ones were. So let me just check. This one was £12. Um, and I got it in a medium. And again, it's is it from the tall range again? Tall edge to edge waffle knit cardigan. Um, yes, it's from the tall range, which you didn't know, but I quite like that, so I might think about getting it in the pink, or if I spent enough money, I've probably spent enough money, <laughs> but I just, I, I thought it was really nice, it's kind of longer, and again, like that transitional time of year, cardigans I think are very important, because it's something you take on and off, um, so yeah, that's pretty, okay, so the very last item again, <laughs> I, I feel like I just thought I'm going on my holidays with this haul, I really do, <laughs> I bought some sunglasses. I love sunglasses. I need to buy cheap and I need to buy often because I'm hopeless. Literally bought two pairs in Primark in February of my favorite black sunglasses because I knew I would need two. We went on holiday mid-February and Chris's dad broke a pair. We were playing with a ball in the sea and he full on smacked me in the eye and broke my sunglasses. And then I've literally just lost a second pair about two weeks ago. So I'm hopeless with them. Anyway, these aren't really anything to do with any of that. So I don't know why I'm talking all that rubbish. I just thought these were bonkers cute. Look at them. I, I love sunglasses. Oh, I got a lovely pair. I don't know if they're in here actually. Um, a beautiful pair of sunglasses from Boohoo actually while we were off. While we were off? While we were on lockdown. Oh. I had a feeling I'd seen them around here. Can't see them, they must be in the other room. Um, but they're over like a rose gold pair and they were cute. Anyway, look at these guys! How cute are they? They're like a tortoise shell, love heart effect. <laughs> I mean, they're not your everyday kind of run of the mill sunglasses. Let's see, I've got a mirror over there. I definitely need to lose this bit, but I like them. They're super cool. I like them. I think, I think they were four pounds because I remember thinking, oh, I know I won't pay more than five pounds for a pair of sunglasses because I'm that hopeless. But four pounds. I think that's what the pink ones ended up costing me. I love the pink, love the pink ones. And these are absolutely fabulous. Right, so that's my boohoo haul. I spent way more than I needed to. I have a feeling the greeny minty bikini is going to go back. I don't think I'm going to like that. And I'm slightly dubious about how it's going to fit around my bosom area. And I'm also a little bit unsure of the black and white bottoms because I, I feel like they've sent me the wrong ones. But I'll try them on and I'll see what they look like. So guys, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about these. What's the favourite item that I picked up? Do you think I should send any of these back? Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, that's my haul. So yeah, drop me a comment, please. And if you've enjoyed, then please do me a favor and hit that like button and give me a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, it would be fantastic if you could please subscribe. Um, I try to do videos as often as possible, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Face Mask Fridays. I've been a bit rubbish with Face Mask Fridays recently. I do know, I've just been busy, 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 but I'll try my best. Okay, so that's me. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed and until next time, I will see you very soon. Bye.